March 17, 2021 was the first of two major outbreaks in the Deep South that month. The Storm Prediction Center issued a high risk across much of Mississippi and Alabama. They issued a 30% hatched tornado risk before upgrading to a 45%. We staged in Memphis, Tennessee, where we decided to target near the Mississippi-Alabama border. We were expecting a difficult chase with potentially deadly storms. Tornado watch in effect. We got lightning to our south. We're chasing tornadoes at six in the morning. What's wrong with us? That's how it's done in Dixie. Currently it's 6 a.m. in the morning. We've already got a 30% hatched high risk. Um, a tornado watch has been issued. There are tornado worn storms moving from our southwest into the Mississippi Delta. And uh, we're just about an hour out. We're gonna try to intercept that, maybe get a sunrise tornado before we uh, position for the afternoon storm. So it's gonna be a wild day. I have no idea what to anticipate, so. This storm quickly went outflow dominant. So we shifted our expectations from a morning tornado to a morning shelf. Oh yeah, yeah. Put your flashers on right here. We are now heading towards Philadelphia to get into position for the afternoon uh, warm sector supercells. Um, it's a high risk and things are starting to uptrend even more. They're looking worse than what the model showed last night. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a really bad day overall. Um, so we're just going to try to stay as safe as possible, get to Philadelphia and intercept any discrete supercells that, that fire up in that region. Without a strong enough cap to hold things off, storms started firing up around midday. The SPC had issued the first of many PDS tornado watches, stating numerous discrete supercells are expected to develop this afternoon, capable of producing strong to intense tornadoes. We first intercepted our supercell of the day near York, Alabama. This storm would go on to drop several tornadoes. Our first tornado was a quarter mile wide EF1 that hit the town of Bluffport, Alabama. There were no injuries or fatalities with this storm. That is a fat wall cloud, god damn. Major upward motion, the upward motion on that is crazy.
mean, that's... Is that a tornado? I don't even know. Where? Where? You mean... Like, straight ahead there. I think so. That has... To... I think that's on... With that motion? Yeah. to get out of here, yeah. We're gonna have to drop south and intercept another storm. Everyone in the area was unharmed, but with the damage blocking our path, we had to drive around the storm. Eventually, we hook sliced the supercell near Utah, Alabama to get another view. With nearly perfect timing, the next tornado develops almost directly overhead. This is the start of the Moundville EF1 long track tornado. We got chasers up here. Oh my, might, we might be able to stop on this bridge. Yeah, I'm tornado! Tornado behind us! Tornado on the ground! Holy s! Right behind us! I'm slowing over. Oh, yeah. RFD's coming. Wow, look at this wrapping around. We're about to get another wedge. tornado it's gonna be somewhere in oh there oh my god yeah this is it wait is that on the ground i think so that's a tornado that's a tornado on the ground all right, call. All right. look at that it's gonna come to your good crossing Wow. Oh my god. We're gonna we're gonna get a close range intercept here. Perfect position. Perfect position. You can hear it.
By now, it should come as no surprise that there is no shortage of trees in the south. With what little views we had, it seemed that the tornado wasn't on the ground. However, the storm was actually ramping up and the tornado began to grow in size while a massive RFD cut exposed the churning mesocyclone. Alright, it's big power flash. Just saw a power flash. Yep. It was tracked to hit downtown Mountainville, where it produced mostly minor damage. Is there a road that we can go east? Because if they shut us down, we're done. That's it. We can go east, but it's we're not going to get anything. We're going to have to take like crazy wild back roads and like score us over. I mean, we've been on few already. Yeah, just keep going. Just... We are uh, Moundville. We are in Moundville. Another power flash. Is this hitting Moundville? I, th I think it is hitting the town of Moundville directly right now. This is a We are almost in the yeah, there's Power's out. Sirens are out. Let's be quiet. Yeah, there's some, some trees snapped here. Oh, we got some damage here as well. Oh, wow. Tree down. You smell that? Yep. Yep. Bama pine. Yep. Oh, damage to shingle that house. Damage, shingle damage. We're crossing damage path right now. It's not very strong. No. That's good. Okay, we got some. Oh. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, oh, damage all along that wow. that road yep. there. Yep. That was our right that was there. our east road. Never mind about that. I think we can just stay on this. We can just stay a little bit behind it. I think we'll be fine. Where is it? That's my thing. No, no, it's see the see the movement, the motion straight up it's ahead there. In front of us. It's directly in front of us. I think there's a down tree in front of us. Oh, is yeah. there a down tree? Yes. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, give me uh, give we, me a we can't. We're not going to be able to to stay with it. After chasing that supercell for over two hours, we decided not to continue into Tuscaloosa. We blasted west for another round, but at this point, it had become clear the event was about to underperform. We caught one last tornado-worn storm before it went outflow dominant. It did have one little surprise, however. Starting to hook. Really? I'm getting this. I'm getting the bolts. Why am I not? Hear the sirens? Yo, if there's going to be a tornado, it's going to be straight ahead next to that water just tower. Right, just to the right of it. Wow, that lightning. Wow. It looks like it's losing on velocity. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's shelving out. It, it does. But it looks like it is. It does kind of look shelfy. This might be the last time. Oh, pulling in everything over there. Yes, 
just happening? <laughs> Really close. You guys better get down. Not, no. not yet. Not yet. Might be, might be time to call it, get in the car, and then head northeast. The Bluffport Tornado was rated EF1 with a path length of 9 miles and a peak width of 475 yards. The Moundville Tornado was also rated EF1 with a path length of 22 miles and a peak width of 550 yards. This tornado was on the ground for almost an hour, but it didn't reach its peak width until after hitting Moundville. With no fatalities, slow moving storms, and visible tornadoes, we were blessed with a fantastic and unusual chase for Dixie. After this intense CG barrage, we called it off and began the long trip back home.